Hey guys, this is Hydra from Actrate back with another weekly video. And in this video, we'll start off with the indices as usual. We'll start off with SPY and QQQ. Take a look at QQQ first. We'll start off with the daily chart. So on the daily chart, you can see that this week, we clearly broke the uptrend that QQQ formed since the beginning of the year, right? Um, so right now, it looks like we are probably going to go through some short-term turbulence so I think there's a very good chance that we could just go sideways for a couple weeks right if we take a look at the weekly chart we did have a really really strong rally and now we've been consolidating for a couple weeks so overall this is really good action uh, it's not like we're pulling back and it doesn't look like we're like forming a top or anything so overall it looks really good action it looks like we just want to go sideways and wait uh, for <clears throat> the moving averages to catch up and then make another leg higher that's what I'm thinking at least, but for right now, I, or a long-term picture, I think everything is very, very uh, strong overall, and I think we are in a very strong bull trend. But short-term-wise, I think there's a good chance that we could pull back more, especially if we lose that 434 level. I think there's a very good chance that we could pull back to 426. Um, but yeah, after 426, there is another gap fill. I think, yeah, the next gap fill would be 407. I'm not sure if we could pull back that much, but it is definitely possible if we lose that 426 level. Gaps don't always get filled, but <clears throat> there are typically 90% of the time they do get filled, but you know, we'll see what happens. We do also have like a bunch of other gaps here, and these ones haven't been filled yet, but that could change in like the next couple months or even years, right? So you never know, but typically gaps do tend to get filled. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Overall, market is in a very strong uptrend. Same with SPY. Um, yeah, if you take a look at SPY, the uptrend also broke last week. And uh, yeah, on Thursday, we had a really, really nasty bar, really nasty outside bar. So I'm thinking if we lose Friday's lows, so around that 513 level, this could be a really good short play. Um, and the target would be all the way down to that 500 level. And then if we lose 502, then I think we could hit 497 pretty quickly for a gap fill play. But yeah, <clears throat> let's take a look at the weekly chart as well for the SPY. So SPY also very, very strong uptrend. And now it's starting to consolidate here, three weeks of consolidation so far. And I think uh, this one is definitely a lot more extended compared to QQQ. So I think this has more chance of a pullback. But yeah, overall, I think long term, long term outlooks long-term outlook looks good i think we are in a very strong bull trend but short term i think um i think there's a very good chance that we could pull back more or at least chop around for a bit let's take a look at the big cap tech stocks start off with apple apple looks like it's a short under that 168.65 level if it loses that then this is a really really good short play and the target could be all the way down to like that 160 level um but yeah Apple looks pretty, pretty weak here. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll say if Apple loses 168, then it could hit potentially even 156. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, this is definitely on watch for a short play. AMD pulled back in pretty hard last week. Um, had a really nasty bar on Thursday. Yeah, nasty pullback on Thursday. And then on Friday, put in the inside bar. So I think if it loses that inside, or like the Friday's lows, I think this could be another good short play. And uh, the target would be the 162 support level. But overall, AMD looks like, um, AMD is a very strong name, but right now this one looks like it needs to pull back more and just, uh, yeah, just consolidate for a little bit more here. Next up, let's take a look at Google. So Google had a really nice uh, breakout earlier this week so it broke out on monday and then tuesday and wednesday just consolidated formed another flag and then on thursday everything pulled back in and then on friday it did have a decent recovery so overall not a bad week for google but it's been acting really well since it bottomed in uh or short term bottom in march right so really good action from google meta meta is acting really well making new all-time highs on it did make new all-time highs on friday so this one is just continuing to grind higher and higher and a very very strong name so yeah this is definitely one of the best big cap tech names right now 
Microsoft's also doing pretty well, but this one's more choppy. Um, but it is holding that 420 level, which is key. Um, so overall, Microsoft does look pretty good here as well. Netflix also grinding higher here slowly, making new uh, 52 week highs. Uh, yeah, overall, Netflix looks pretty good. On the weekly chart, it looks like <clears throat> it has room all the way back up to that, that 700 level. So um, Netflix does look pretty good here. And I think uh, this will just be like a slow grind up. But overall, Netflix is acting pretty well. NVIDIA, this one finally pulled back in last week. Um, starting to form a short-term downtrend here, right? So until this uh, downtrend line breaks, this downtrend line breaks, uh, I wouldn't be trying to long NVIDIA here. Right now, it looks more like a short to me, especially if it loses that uh, 850 7 level. Yeah. If it loses this level, I think this could be a good short. And the price target would be 825 for a gap fill play and then yeah I think 800 would be a key support level next up let's take a look at Tesla so Tesla had um, had some news Friday after hours and it gapped up all the way up to 171 so it's currently around this level here um, Tesla still looks pretty weak to me I would say key resistance is that 182 level so until Tesla breaks that 182 level this one's in a very clear uh, short-term downtrend. So I would avoid this one until it breaks that 182 level. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the big cap tech names. Let's take a look at growth names, HRKK. So overall, HRKK is still stuck in this chop, right? So it's in a, it's forming a big base here, right? And I thought that it would be, I thought it would form a handle here and try to break out. But it looks like it's failing to the downside here. So overall, not not a great look for the growth uh, tech names. But um, yeah, I think we could pull back all the way down to 45 again. So we'll see what happens. But overall, uh, growth names are not looking too hot right now. Um, let's take a look at some few ind individual names that have been acting well. Start off with APP. So this name has been on a very very strong uptrend uh, for like the last year right so this bottomed back in 2023 and then this one had a very very strong uptrend and then lots of earning gap ups and then here it formed a really nice base and then broke out and it's just been a slow grind up ever since right so this one's been acting incredibly well <clears throat> it still has a lot of upside potential um, so I think target would be $80 and then after that would be around 96 and then all-time highs so this one still has a lot of potential and I really like the weekly uh, volume accumulation right look at all look at all those green bars compared to the red ones right a lot more volume um, on the green one so that's a sign of accumulation so that's a good sign uh, cart is another really very yeah really really strong rally earlier uh, in February and then March as well um, yeah, it just had a very nice bounce from 24 to almost, sorry, pretty much almost doubled. Um, and now it's starting to form like some resistance over here. So if this can form some sort of flag, then this would be a really good watch. So right now I wouldn't buy this, but if it forms a flag, goes sideways for a little bit more, tightens up, then this could be a really good play. CEG, this one is acting really, really well as well. Had a very strong um, move up here on big volume and then formed a little flag broke out and now it's just like grinding higher here so right now there is no setup but if this one um, or this one has a very clear range here so if this one tightens up then this could be a really good play as well CGC this one is um, acting really well so far and it's forming a little bull flag so if it can break that then this would be a good one to watch out for but yeah really nice bull flag here coin so this one there's no setup right now coin looks like it needs some more time here um yeah looks like it just needs to consolidate for some more time since it had such a big move up so this one i would just <clears throat> i would recommend just to wait i don't think there's a play here so yeah next up Dell. Dell had a very nice breakout last week um the 116 level was key and then on monday we broke out and then on Tuesday, we formed a little bull flag. And then on Wednesday, we got a very, very nice breakout again. 
and yeah on friday we are getting some follow through so that was acting really really well this is a top name for sure LLY, this one has been consolidating for quite some time now and it looks ready to break that 792 level and it looks like it wants to make new all-time high so this is on watch for a breakout play um, MU, this one's also acting really well super strong earnings cap up from the nice flag and now it's just grinding higher here so right now there's no setup but this is another top watch and if this one pulls back to like that 120 level I think this could be a potential could buy the dip play NTNX, this one is not that well known, but this one's been acting really well on the weekly chart. Very, very strong uptrend, and it just continues to go higher and higher. And it did break out of this bull flag last week, so this is another one that you want to keep an eye on. Um, Root is another really good one. This one just continues to go higher every single day. Insane move right from the lows. Started from $11 to 83 now. A very short period of time too but this one has no setup right now but i would watch it for a pullback or for it to form some sort of flag um but yeah this one was the best setup over here on this day and then uh yeah not really that many opportunities afterwards but yeah this is a name that you want to keep an eye on for sure smci this one has kind of like died down in terms of volatil volatility the last couple weeks but on the weekly chart, it does look pretty solid, um, just forming forming a nice bull flag over here, right? So this one, I think it needs more time to digest its gains, but this is on watch. Um, I think it can form some sort of like longer bull flag play. I think this needs some more time first. And last but not least, TSM. This is another semiconductor name, and this one's also acting really well. I think it wants to break out if it can uh, break that 143 level. It did try to do it on Thursday, but ended up failing because of market weakness. But if it breaks 143, I think this one has a chance to make um, new 52 week highs. <clears throat> and then I think it's close to, yeah. I did already make yeah new all time highs, but yeah, I think it can make new all time highs again if it breaks that 143 level. But overall, I would say the market looks like it's starting to finally consolidate after a very long run. Or it has been consolidating. And I think there's more chance that there I think there's the probability of a pullback or chopped is very high here. So I think less is more here. And I would I would suggest to be patient and just let setups come to you and don't try to force anything. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.